Hello, everyone. It is Saturday, June 27th in the year of our Lord, 2015. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. Yeah, June 27th. That's right. You know what that means? Yours truly, the love doctor, Reverend Dr. B, 42 years old today. And we're doing a Cinema Saturday. Batman, 1989. Yep, 42. I'm double the drinking age. American drinking age, that is. Not about wearing this. But it doesn't really fit on too well with this. But it's all good. Well, folks, we got some unofficial sponsors to mention. Of course, got to give it to my good friend uh, Kevin Sherman of Heavy Metal and Booze. Dude. That freaking rock last night, your first uh, show under your new format, very, very impressed. Awesome stuff. And uh, Kevin, you and your wonderful gorgeous better half, Crystal Rose. One year togetherness and anniversary. Shout out to the two of you. I'm so happy for you. Kevin, about time you got yourself a lovely lady. She's a real winner, a total sweetheart. And you two are getting married on Halloween, and I'm excited for you. I really am. Kevin Sherman, dude, you rock. And folks, follow Heavy Metal and Booze. You don't even have to be a fan of his show to, I mean, of Heavy Metal to follow it. And then, of course, you got um, my good friend Justin Dimmitt of Prosper. Folks, Facebook.com slash LLA Prosper. All one word. This is the guy that created the Beer and Song of the Day Facebook page a long time ago. Huge help. You don't even have to be a Star Trek fan to follow Prosper. You don't follow Prosper and Heavy Metal and Booze, you really are cheating yourselves, folks. So yeah, follow that page. Trust me, the Love Doctor says so. And do I steer people wrong? No. Well, let's give it out to my good friends over at um, Rebel Customs. Jennifer Conley, Jen Conley and her awesome husband, Chris. Rebel Customs, huge following. Phenomenal, um, clothing they make. Jen's also got her amazing uh, page J-E-N-N and then C-O-N-L-E-Y. If you ain't following that page you're really cheating yourselves folks and Rebel Customs while you're at it. Between those two pages combined over 10,000 followers. Absolutely huge. Now I'm playing the uh... ah, that's what I was afraid of God bear with me because uh, I'm playing the entire Batman soundtrack from YouTube and uh, unfortunately I like to throw in some uh, pop-up advertisements, jerks. Copyright infringement Nazis, what do you expect? Well, folks, um, yeah, this is going to be a badass show. And it's time to give it up to my good friends over at Philo Liquors. Because they told me about this here beer. They reserved it for me for my birthday. Firestone Walker... 2015 Parabola Russian Imperial Stout Vintage Super Ultra Rare. This is a $21 bottle of beer right here, folks. It is a whopping 14% alcohol by volume. I'm excited. I'm nervous at the same time. Look at this stuff. Oh my God, that's a bottle of beer, folks. Good God. It's ready to be drank, consumed. Number 006. Oh, man. So, let's crack it open, shall we? Now, we got a lot of friends of mine to have birthdays today. Lots. One of my cousins as well. Probably a winning apparatus pup technique. Here we go. Woo-ho! Lions, bears, and beers. Oh, my. And thank you to my love, Goddess Farah. Look at that. Brand new birthday present. New England Patriots beer consumption apparatus. Yes! Let's Christian it, baby. 45 to grand rent the beer consumption apparatus. Right over the keyboard. Some said, damn good. I'm supposed to drop you. I never have, never will. I did not have a Batman mask, unfortunately. None were available. Nobody had one. So what did I do? That's right. I got a pair of uh, Batman pants on my head. Eh, why not? Makes a good hat, right? Cheers and beers to all of you prosses say in Germany, Kapais, they say in Japan. I'm going to drink this whole sucker on my show. I will not be sober by the time I'm done, so bear with me. A 
Oh. My. Freaking. God. This is a cornucopia of exquisite wicked awesomeness. Big, big, A plus, all the way on this here beer. Wow! Chock full of all kinds of flavors, folks. You don't even understand. Barrel-aged. Man, chocolate, charred oak, vanilla, black cherry, and coffee are just some of the complex flavors and aromas you will find in this beer. One-of-a-kind sipping beer built to last and will reward careful aging for years to come. <laughs> oh boy, it's a sipping beer. Well, I sip beer, but I'm going to be sipping a lot. Well, folks, without further ado, let's get to t today's birthday shout-outs. Obviously, you know about mine. That's right. So, hey, if you're going to drink with me, let's do it right here, right now. And happy birthday. Every day is like my birthday. I'm telling you, I'm spoiled that much. Cheers and beers to all of you. Prost, they say in Germany. Goodbye, as they say in Japan. Next on the list. My very own cousin, the awesome Dale Karras. Dale, happy birthday to you, cuz. How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Don't hear from you much on the old Facebook. I know you finally got a Facebook account. I'm very happy for that. Love to hear from you. An awesome guy indeed. And uh, Dale, happy birthday, cuz. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, my good friend Harold Satterly. Harold Satterly. Longtime fellow mafioso on the old Mafia Wars. And uh, Harold, milestone birthday to you. How are you, my friend? Hope you're doing well. Happy birthday to you. I hope you're going to celebrate it well. I hope you are celebrating it well. I know I am. So, Harold, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Be be before we get to the next birthday, I got to give it up to my good friends. All of my friends, Strays Fight United, the best damn Mafia Wars family in the history of social media. No question about it, we're not the largest family in the world, we're not the strongest family in the world, but we are the most tight-knit family in the world. There's no question about it. Each of you is are like a fellow brother and sister, no doubt about it. Strays Fight United, I love you, and uh, hey, you know, it's an honor and a privilege to be part of it. To all of my friends over at Stray's Fight United, the best damn Mafia Wars family ever, where teamwork truly does make the dream work, I say cheers and beers. Next on the list, my good friend, Madonna Butterfield. Madonna! What's going on, girl? Fellow Mafia on the old Mafia Wars. Happy birthday to you. How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. And, uh... I saw you removed your birthday from Facebook, but don't worry, I remembered. See, I don't forget people's birthdays. Come on, especially if it's my birthday. I mean, jeez. Well, hey, um, Madonna, happy birthday. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. This beer is going down dangerously fast. Next on the list is my good friend, Tyler Ramsey. Ah, Tyler, what's going on, my brother from another mother? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. And uh, so cool that we got the same birthday, June 27th, man. Best damn day in the world. Hell yeah, it is. Well, Tyler Ramsey, my man, a badass hard-working member, Jim. I've worked with down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. I'm pretty much the same damn state. Happy birthday, brother. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Party hot and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969. Minus the acid. Cheers and bears to you. Next on the list, my good friend Angel Smith, another gorgeous mafia ant on the old Mafia Wars, an absolute sweetheart. Angel, what's going on, girl? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're celebrating it well. Hope you're getting spoiled like I am. And uh, Angel, yeah, my love goddess is making Boston baked beans from scratch. Oh, man, I'm excited. And I hope your birthday's going at least just as well. Angel Smith! Happy birthday. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. 
next on the list, my good friend Greg Talley. Ah, oh, dude, great seeing you today. That's right, hanging out together over at Philo Liquors. That's right, Greg, dude, it's just so ironic that we were there, two badass birthday boys hanging out, checking out some good quality adult beverages, and Greg, Dude, where do they grow people like you, man? I need to go there. I know you're moving to Arkansas pretty soon, or as I call it, Northern Louisiana. Pretty much the same state. And, uh, Greg, I know you're getting spoiled well. I know you are. I'm getting spoiled too. Well, happy birthday. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. <coughs> Squeeze me. Cheers the beers, Greg. Next on the list. My good friend, Julie Crow. Oh, I know this stunningly gorgeous sweetheart of a lady. She's from Fresno, California, the land of first and that's otherwise known as Southern Oregon. That's right. And now, Julie, known you a long time. And uh, absolute sweetheart, good hearing from you. Glad you're having an awesome birthday. I remember the day I met you and found out we had the same birthday. I was like, oh my God, that is totally wicked awesome. That's right. You know, Miss Charlotte should need French for wicked awesome. You know what I'm saying, eh? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Canada indeed. I just love, love to our neighbors up north. And I do that on Baron Song today every single day of the week. Being an A. Well, Julie, my friend, I miss you big time. And I uh, hope you're waking off today. Saturday we'll and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Yep, that's right. Composed by Danny Elfman. 1989 Batman motion picture soundtrack. Next on the list, my man, Eddie, Eddie Vasquez. Oh, here's an awesome guy right here, a hard working man. And uh, Eddie, what's going on, big man? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. A legend I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas, although I know is West Louisiana, pretty much the same damn state. Eddie, I know you're celebrating your birthday. I'm celebrating our birthday. Hell yeah, bro. So hey, lift that adult beverage high. And drink with me right here, right now, on Beer and Song of the Day, Big and A. Cheers of beers, brother. Next on the list, my man Dan Lapar. Dan Lapar, a badass engine repair man I worked with in the jolly old England. Dan, I couldn't post on your Facebook wall, but don't worry, I was posting on a picture of you. And uh, Dan, happy birthday, brother. How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Don't hear from you much. Drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing, will you? Definitely miss working with you on a job site. No doubt about that. A hell of a man, a great man, a great family man. And Dan, the man, happy birthday. Hope you have an awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and bears. All right. Next on the list, Kurt Senzig. Ah. Oh, Kurt Senzig. Zig! Badass. Um. Oh, shit. Comical Nav Wizard, right? Or Badass Gat God. I cannot remember for the life of me. I swear you're a badass Comical Nav Wizard. All I know is you're a great leader of men, women, and it's that I worked with in exotic Japan. And Zig, dude, a damn good man, an awesome guy, and happy birthday to you, brother. How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Always good when I hear from you. Definitely miss working with you. But hey, I hope you have an awesome day. And celebrate while and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, Danielle Kavanaugh Fry. Ah, if you recognize that name, Danielle is absolutely gorgeous. She's also a former real babe of the day on Baron Song of the Day. Fig and A. Oh, yeah. Danielle, what's going on, sweetie? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're celebrating your birthday well. Hope you're getting spoiled. I know I'm getting spoiled rotten. And I love it. I absolutely freaking smurfalutely love it. And uh, Danielle, happy birthday, my dear. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. You know, if it wasn't Cinema Saturday, I would have probably pushed to have you featured as Real Baby of the Day again. Don't worry, Beer and Song of the Day will still be going strong next year. And I'm thinking, birthday girl, birthday baby of the day? Hell yeah. You let me know, Danielle. Let's make it happen. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, my good friend, Helen Jones. 
another wonderful Mafia at on the old Mafia Wars. And Helen, what's going on, my friend? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Haven't heard from you in a while. I hope you're doing well. Evan. I'd love to hear from you. Drop me, drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing. You probably did tell me a happy birthday greeting. <laughs> I've got over 800 of them i got to go through. By the time my birthday's done, there will be well over 1,000 Facebook happy birthday greetings on my wall. I love it. Thank you all for your support. You support like a double D bra. Underwire. That's a point. And Helen, let's celebrate our birthday, shall we? Happy birthday, my friend. And a big heart, hearty cheers and beers to you. Well, let's top this off, shall we? Oh, God. That's it? Uh-oh. <laughs> Yikes. Whoo, that beer's going down fast. And I'm actually handling it better than I thought I would. Next on the list, my good friend, Willie Wilson. Willie Wilson. I'm Carrie D. I don't care who you are. Stupid pop-up ads. Stellara. All right. My man, Willie Wilson. Badass proof jug. I work with in jolly old England. Willie, a hard work man, an awesome guy, a great leader of men, women, and kids. And Willie... Happy birthday, my friend. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I know I'm doing well. Let's celebrate our birthdays well. Let's have a lot of fun. And happy birthday, my brother from another mother. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, my good friend Lance Pacheco. Ah! Now this guy, I don't even have on the old Facebook. I don't even think he's on the Facebook. If he is, you need to add me. See, Lance is a fine art saying graduate of Martha's Vineyard Beach High School class of 1992. With my brother, the pride of Vineyard, Massachusetts. Greatest town in the world, greatest state in the nation, Massachusetts. Without Massachusetts, there wouldn't be an America greater die in the freaking story. Of course, Martha's Vineyard Island, best island in the world. And Lance, dude, what's going on? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hopefully somebody will uh, let you know that you've been honored on Baron Song of the Day. I mean, come on, dude. I've had your birthday memorized since I met you back in 1979. Well, Lance, happy birthday, my friend. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate while and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, my good friend, Joe Tomasinski. Joe, long time mafioso on the old Mafia Wars. Farmville, two if I'm not mistaken. And Joe, always a pleasure to hear from you. And happy birthday to you. And how you doing? Hope you're doing well. I think your eye looks like your eye looks like you're having a good day. As you should. Hey, our birthday's an awesome day. You know what? Every day's an awesome day. And Joe, you're an awesome guy. And happy birthday, my friend. Hope you have an awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list. Now this lovely lady, Pam Liebeck. Pam Liebeck is the sister of our lovely, gorgeous mafia at, on Stray's Fight United's Best Mafia Wars Family in History, Kathy Hike. Kathy, your sister Pam, always hearing about her, and uh, she's just a, such a sweet, sweet lady. And I had no idea that today's her birthday. That is absolutely wicked awesome. Pam, I hope this message gets to you, and happy birthday. And Kathy, you are so awesome. Always help me out in the Mafia Wars every day. That's what we do. That's why Straight Fight United, best Mafia Wars family in history. You know it is. Well, hey, Pam, cheers and beers, my friend. Hope you enjoy the show. And Kathy, I hope you do too, because you're awesome. Wicked awesome. All right, the final birthday of the day. Folks, like I said, June 27th. Tons of birthdays. My good friend, the lovely, gorgeous, amazing Nikki Steinauer. Nikki, badass crew joke that I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Northern Mexico, pretty much the same damn country. She's a sweetheart, she's beautiful, she's awesome, and she's the wonderful, gorgeous, better half. My good friend Jeff who's an engine repairman and a hell of a badass man, my Gemma. And Jeff, I know you're spoiling Nikki right here, right now. You two are an incredible couple. Jeff and Nikki, you know what? 
Don't you think you should be featured someday as Real Babe and Hunk of the Tail Bear or something today? I think the two of you should. Hey, I'm a former Real Babe. Uh, not Babe. Jeez, I'm not Justine Beaver. I'm a former real hunk of the day on Baron Song of the Day multiple times. And you all get to see my ugly mug every day on camera. When I ah! my first business, I moved Trust on. me, if you think you're ugly, folks, there's hope for you. Look at me. You look better than I do. But Nikki, my dear, happy birthday and hope you have a wicked awesome day. Potty hide and enjoy. Cheers the beers. Alright. We have finally gotten to all the birthdays. Folks, we have got ourselves a wedding anniversary that is very special to me. See, my good friend Daryl Harris, badass GNC posse member for life, the best damn mentor I've ever had in my entire job career. Um, this guy has made me what I am. He's given me confidence. Daryl Harris, I love you like a brother, man. And not in the West Virginia way either. But you're close to there. Well, Cincinnati, I know, it's actually on the uh, west, southwest side of uh, Ohio. But see, folks, <coughs> screaming, Daryl is one of the, the most wicked, hardcore Cincinnati Bengals fans you're ever going to meet in your entire life. He's a youth football coach, and he's married to a lovely, gorgeous sweetheart named Mary. I knew her as Beth. Beth, Mary, either way, you... And Daryl, a very near and dear to my heart. I met you guys in California, the land of fruits and nuts, otherwise known as Western Nevada. You two got married 23 years ago today, June 27th, in the year of our Lord, 1992. That's right, the day that I turned 19 years old. Wow. And uh, Daryl and Mary, happy 23rd anniversary to the two of you. Living in exotic Germany. Yeah. Man, I miss you big time. Daryl, I miss you big time. Love you guys. I do. No doubt about it. And happy anniversary. I know you two are going to have a wicked awesome day. And uh, hopefully Delon and Terrell, those guys, hopefully they're, you know, you're two wonderful young men that I've watched blossom from babies to big men. Hopefully they're spoiling you rotten. They are. Now. I'm sure they are because they're good young men indeed. To the Harris family, the love doctor gives you the love doctor salute. Oh, hell yeah! Seriously, Daryl, you have no idea what you mean to me, man. And I mean that. That's God's honest truth. Woo! Alright. With that said, folks, we have got ourselves some trivia questions. They were both answered. In fact, they were both answered by um, very big fans of this show. So, the first trivia question, I threw it out there, and it was simple. Who was born June 27th, well, Wednesday, June 27th, 1973 at 6.15 a.m. in Falmouth, Massachusetts? Well, my good friend Michelle Nix, yeah, you know her, the first ever fan of the week winner, multiple real baby today. She said, hmm, maybe this is a tricky one. Could it be the one and only Joshua Baker? Oh, yes, Michelle. It show sure enough is. Yes, it is. Michelle, you drop dead gorgeous sweetheart of a lady and big time cider connoisseur. I give you the love dot to salute. Oh, hell yeah. Because you're like Smith Bonnie. You made it the old-fashioned way. You earned it. Cheers and beers to you, my dear. Our other trivia question. Thank you, Justin Dimmitt of Prosper, for coming up with this one. You knew I was busy as a dyke in a hardware store to quote the late great George Carlin. You wrote this. Despite playing the title role in Batman from 1989, Michael Keaton did not receive top billing. Who did? You know, folks, I actually knew that answer. So did our good friend John Sekman of Exotic Japan. Yeah, you know that guy. Multiple real... Multiple hunk of the day. Multiple fan of the week winner. John Sekman, you said Jack Nicholson. Hi! 
Oh, you nailed it, brother. Wicked awesome job, George. On a big. Love that to salute to you. Oh, hell yeah. George Sekman, big time wrestling fan like me. Over 30 years I've been a wrestling fan. George, kapai. So there you go. All of our shoutouts are finally complete. We have got a couple hunks of the day. We've got a babe of the day. We got a vehicle of the day, instrument of the day. Moving into college pet is a of big the day. deal. I know responsibility. I don't I give a shit. Oh god, ten seconds of this crap. Cover my college college and moving day, college covered. Good She's kinda cute. You know, motivated. She looks like Learn she's nineteen and wicked fine. Hmm. All right, so there you go. I couldn't skip that ad. Oh, well. Cuts me some eye candy. Reason for everything. All right, folks. Today's vehicle of the day. Let's get right to it. Now, I'll tell you a quick story. My brother and I, we went to see Batman the movie in 1989. It was so hyped up. In fact, they said that Batman, the Batmobile was going to come to Martha's Vineyard Island. That's what we were told. So there were hundreds of people. Main Street, Vinnie Haven, with Capowalk Theater. That's the Vin Vinnie Haven's movie theater. It's been there since 1912. One of the oldest operating movie theaters in the country. It's still going strong. Capowalk Theater, Vinnie Haven, Massachusetts. My brother and I are standing in line, along with hundreds, hundreds of others, as Batman the movie came to Martha's Vineyard Island. Unfortunately, this vehicle of the day did not show up. It was supposed to come over on the boat from the mainland. That's the Batmobile that was used in Batman from 1989. Look at that Batmobile. How awesome is that? It's wicked awesome. I would love a car like that. I know you would too. Wow. Mighty fine automobile indeed. The Batmobile 1989. That is your vehicle of the day on Baron Song of the Day, Fagan A. I thought Princess Delilah would show up. But I don't know. So let's get to our uh, instrument of the day. This is a really cool... I had to find something that I could utilize as a good instrument that related to Batman. So why not a Batman guitar? And look at that thing, will you? Good God. Batman guitar. That's a beautiful case, too. I want that shit. I do. I know you do, too. Wow. Batman guitar. That is a mighty fine and wicked awesome... Instrument of the day on Baron Song of the Day. Big and A. Shit, let's drink. So, what are we going to use as pet of the day on Baron Song of the Day? Well, duh! A bat! Not a baseball bat, but... Ah, the bat itself. That's right. The Batman bat. There can be no other. The Batman Bat as your pet of the day on Baron Song of the Day. Oh, hell yeah. So let's drink to that. All right, folks. So, what we're going to do, we've got a couple hunks of the day, we got a baby of the day. And we got a lot of, not this day in history. Remember, it's Cinema Saturday. We bring out facts from the cinema. There's a lot of movie facts about Batman the movie. Yes, there are. So let's go ahead and bring out our first hunk of the day on Baron Song of the Day. As we talk about celebrity birthdays. Well, remember 1989, who was Batman? Michael Keaton. Who my brother and I watched in Capowalk Movie Theater back in 1988 when we watched Beetlejuice. Michael Keaton, phenomenal actor. Did a pretty damn good job as Batman as well. Hey, he may not have received top billing, but hey, he kicked ass nonetheless. Michael Keaton, a good Batman, no doubt about that. Not as cheesy as Adam West in that 1966 Batman TV show. <laughs> but you got it, that was a pretty damn good show. Love it. Keep insisting. All right. So, celebrity birthdays, you say? Yeah, that's right. Helen Keller, legendary lady. Helen Keller, born this day in 1880, passed away in 1968. Blind and deaf. 
Can you imagine living life blind and deaf? Well, she did it, and she still found a way to communicate. An amazing lady indeed. I've seen a gravestone, her grave. She's buried in the Smithsonian. I mean, I'm sorry, the Washington Cathedral. Helen Keller is buried in the Washington Cathedral. I saw her grave in 1987. Eighth grade Washington trip. Um, Ross Perot! That's right, Greg Talley, you and I talked about him. Rush Troll, that's right, you know, him and his big old radio reception ears. Ha <laughs> ha, bat ears. Makes sense, right? Ross Perot, of course, independent vice, I mean, uh, in, independent presidential candidate in 1992 and 1996. Russ Troll, Ross Perot, 85 years old today, still going strong. Jackie Gutierrez. Now, Jackie Gutierrez was a shortstop for the Boston Red Sox in the 1980s. I remember him well. Big fan of him because he, he was the first famous person I remember that shared a birthday with me. First athlete. Jackie Gutierrez, not a phenomenal baseball player, but Boston Red Sox shortstop. He's 55 years old today. Hey, I got a friend of mine that's 55 years old today. How about that? Born June 27, 1960. Awesome stuff. Heath Irwin. Ah, offensive lineman. New England Patriots. That's right. The best damn um, National Football League team in history. At least to me they are. To others, may not be the case. Especially to my friend Justin Dimmitt. Who loves them like he loves getting kicked in the balls with a set of steel toe boots. Love you, Justin. Not in that way. Don't get emotionally erect. But Heath Irwin was born the same exact month, day, and year as the person you're looking at. June 27th, 1973. Awesome stuff. I was born to be a Patriots fan. Oh, God. Khloe Kardashian. Well, she's better than her older sister, Kim. I think so. Khloe Kardashian is 31 years old today. Hey, I got a good friend of my, mine out there watching the show right now. I was born June 27, 1985. Yeah, link yourself to Khloe, yeah? Hell yeah, why not? Hey, you know. So yeah, Michael Keaton, there you go. Drake Bell. You know, Josh and Drake, Nickelodeon show. Drake Bell, 29 years old today. Very cool. Sam Claflin. He's also 29 years old today. Actor Toby Maguire. How about this guy? Milestone birthday. He's 40 years old today. Justin Dimmitt, I know you'll appreciate this one. Star Trek director, J.J. Abrams. 49 years old today. Christian Kane. Christian Kane, 41 years old today. Linked to a good friend of mine that also turned 41 today. Look at that. Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson together. Hell yeah. The Joker. Julius Thomas. Badass. Um, for the, uh, the Denver Broncos. Tight end Denver Broncos. Julius Thomas. 27 years old today. Hey, how about Captain Kangaroo? Bob Keyshan. Captain Kangaroo Bob Keyshan, born on this day in 1927, passed away at the age of 76 in 2005. Captain Kangaroo, I loved that show as a kid. And uh, when I found out Bob Keyshan, shared, I shared a birthday with him, I was emotionally erect. I'm not going to lie. Look at that. Very cool. Isabel Ajani. Milestone birthday. She's 60 years old today. Very cool. Double dipped with oh! You dipped oh, dip. God. You took Kim Basinger. And you dipped again. She was 35 years <laughs> old then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Kim Basinger was born December 8, 1953. She's 61 and she's still gorgeous. It's incredible, folks. It really is. Everybody wants her. All right, so there's your uh, celebrity birthdays for today on Baron's Song of the Day, Vegan A. The rest of our shows can be dedicated to beer drinking, dedicated to um, our babe and hunk of the day, and movie facts about Batman, okay? Because see, check this out, folks. We love Robin Williams. 
Did you know that he was offered the role of the Joker when Jack Nicholson originally hesitated? He, he had even accepted the role. When producers approached Nicholas again and told him Williams would take the part if he didn't, Nicholson took the role and Robin Williams was released. Williams resented being used as a bait, and I don't blame him there, and not only refused to play the Riddler in Batman Forever, but also not to be involved in any Warner Brothers productions until the studio apologized. I don't know if they ever did, but yeah, that was pretty messed up. I think Robin Williams would have done a magnificent job as the Joker, but we know Jack Nicholson definitely did. In fact, Jack Nicholson, as I already mentioned in our trivia question, thank you Justin Nimmer for that one, Jack Nicholson received top billing over Michael Keaton in the Batman movie from 1989. Jack Nicholson received a percentage of the gross on the film and due to its massive box office, took home around $60 million. Now this was as of 2003. It was still the single movie record for an actor's salary. I'm not sure if it's been beaten. And fans, let me know if it has or not, okay? Whoa. Michael Keaton. Man, do I smell the baked beans cooking? Uh, before the Joker en enters Gotham City Cathedral with Vicky, he requests over the walkie-talkie for transportation for two to arrive in ten minutes. Between entering the cathedral and the arrival of the Joker's helicopter, the action inside the cathedral unfolds in real time. Whoa! With Catwoman. Actually, I think that's when Batman returns. Yep, so that's it for Michael Keaton, folks. Let's go ahead and bring out our baby of the day. I know you men and you ladies that love the lady, ladies that look for some female eye candy. Yeah, baby, so am I. Kim Basinger, good God. Um, Michael, Kate, Michael Keaton was unable to hear while wearing the bat suit. Um, he said that his claustrophobia helped get him in the proper mood to play Batman. He said, it made me go inward. And that's how I wanted the character to be anyway, to be withdrawn. But Michael Keaton did a damn good job of that. The movie was released June 23rd, 1989. That was released the year of the Batman's, of Batman's 50th anniversary. Of course, we know Batman's from 1939, a year after Superman, which came out in 1938. Jack Nicholson said of his role, the thing I like about the Joker is that his sense of humor is completely tasteless. I like that too. He later said the Joker was one of his all-time favorite roles he ever played. And I believe it, because you can tell Jack Nicholson had a lot of fun with that role. This was the first Batman movie to win an Academy Award. It was followed by The Dark Knight in 2008, which won two of them. Sean Young, remember her? Yeah, Ray Stinkle? That's right. Sean Young, hottie. She was also Private Cooper, the, the military police girl in uh, Stripes back in 1981, when she was only 21, 22 years old. She was originally cast as Vicki Vale, who we know went to Kim Basinger. But she broke her collarbone while filming a horse riding scene with Michael Keaton. The scene was subsequently written out of the script. Tim Burton suggested repla replacing Young with Michelle Pfeiffer. Not a bad choice there either. We know she went on to some Bart Batman greatness. But Michael Keaton was in a relationship with Michelle Pfeiffer at the time believed it would be too awkward. But she did go go on to portray Catwoman in Batman Returns in 1992. John Peters suggested Kim Basinger as she was cast. A good choice indeed. And while Kim Basinger has blonde hair as evidence there, Vicki Vale was redheaded in the comics. According to Batman creator Bob Kane, um, Vale was supposed to be blonde in the comics and her hair came out red due to a coloring error in her first appearance. I did not know that. Don't worry, I'm not complaining either. While, I mean, it was the highest grossing film in 1989, like I mentioned earlier. 
Michael Keaton casting as Bruce Wayne and Batman caused a controversy amongst comic book fans. 50,000 protest letters were sent to Warner Brothers offices. Bob Kane, Sam Hamm, and Michael Usland also heavily questioned the casting. Wow. Yeah, Bob Kane was still alive at the time. I think he was born in 1914, passed away in 1998, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong on that one. Uh, Michael Keaton, I'm outside. In order to combat negative rumors about the production, the theatrical trailer was hastily assembled to be distributed to theaters. To test its effectiveness, Warner Brothers executives showed it at a theater in Westwood, California to an unsuspecting audience. The 90-second trailer squeeze me, received a standing ovation. Later, it would become another freaking commercial, really? I don't care about Abilene, Yeehaw, Texas. Oh, I, I do a little. I'm going to live here for the rest of my life. Uh, but later, Batman would become a popular bootleg at comic book conventions and theater owners would report patrons paying full price for movie tickets just to have an opportunity to see the trailer. They pay full price for the trailer itself. That's insane in the membrane. And and they were leaving before the feature began. Well, hell, if I'm going to play full price for a freaking movie, I'm going to watch the whole damn thing after the trailer. Come on, man. Wow. Wow, indeed. At the beginning of the film, Knox enters the press room and is handed a cartoon sketch of a Batman, which is a bat in a pinstripe suit. God, I hope not a freaking New York Yankee suit. It is signed by Bob Kane, well that makes it cool, who is the original creator of the Batman comic book. Oh, Kim Basinger, good lord. With Michael Keaton, look at that hair, will you? This was the first Batman adaptation depict the Joker's story. Well, hey, it makes sense. Alright, one more picture of Kim Basinger. I have to feature this. Kids, cover your eyes. Sensitive adults, cover your eyes. From Playboy Magazine, Kim Basinger. Oh my God! Oh, wow! Yeah, I just made my birthday even more wicked awesome. Damn right I did. I'll drink to that shit. I can't believe how smooth that beer is for being a whopping 14% alcohol by volume, folks. As you can see, I'm not making that shit up. See that? 14.0% by volume. That's insane. I'm really impressed. I was scared about this beer. I'm not going to lie to you. I never drank that big of a beer at that strength on my show. I have drank Raspberry Fort from Dogfish Head Brewing Company. That was 18% raspberry beer. But I didn't drink it on my show though, okay? That was right before I started doing Banner Song of the Day. It took me three hours to drink that beer, okay? You wouldn't want to watch a three hour episode of Beer and Song of the Day. I wouldn't want to record a three hour episode of Beer and Song of the Day. All right, folks, during filming, let's feature Jack Nicholson, the Joker, top billing. During filming, a young Tim Burton was having trouble shooting a scene with Jack Palance. Yeah, you know that guy, Ripley's, believe it or not. Well, when filming a scene with him, Burton called out action, and a few minutes later, Jack Palance didn't show up in his shot. Tim Burton later cut the take and walked on the set only to find that Jack Palance had a hearing problem. The deaf but irritated Palance asked Burton, I've made more than a hundred films. How many have you made? Burton said years later that it was a whiteout experience he would never forget. Despite this incident, Burton was happy to have him involved with the film. Wouldn't you be? Jack Palance, I miss that guy. Oh, an amazing actor indeed. So is Jack Nicholson. I can't believe Jack Nicholson's freaking 78 years old. It's unbelievable. 
Oh, he was so badass in this movie. No wonder he received Todd Billing, the Joker. It's too bad he's a Los Angeles Lakers fan. I could do without that, but hey. Thank God we're all different. Because, folks, if everybody was the same, life would totally suck ass. Jack Nicholson revealed in an interview that the strange dance that the Joker does when he eats, I mean, when he e eats Vicky Vale, no, exits Vicky Vale's apartment. <laughs> He'd probably like to eat her. Who oh, would? But when he raises his arms, blows a raspberry, and runs off. Remember that? With something called the bird dance. That's what the dance was called. Which he improvised during the take. He took it from a friend of his, actor Clegg Hoyt. The Joker. The Batmobile was built on the chassis of a Chevy Impala. So, for those four folks that hate Ford, you'll love that. For those that love Ford, you'll hate that. Now, Adam West, we know him from the 1966 TV show Batman, ad admitted that he was disappointed that he was not asked to reprise the role in the movie. Come on, dude. You were 55 years old, but no, you were born in 1929. You were almost 60 years old. I, don't, I can understand that. But also, in Adam West's 1994 autobiography, sorry about that, folks. Back to the soundtrack. Um, Adam West stated that despite belief to the contrary, he was never asked to make a cameo appearance as Thomas Wayne, adding that he would have declined the role if it were offered to him. Sounds like Adam West was a little butthurt about this. But I mean, come on, folks. You know, he was a legend in the TV show Batman. He was older by the time Batman came out in 1989. I can't imagine a 60-year-old Batman. Not that he couldn't have done it well. Well, you know, just saying. It worked out well. You know, this was the only live-action Batman film to feature only one super villain from the comics. Apparently, the rest of them featured a lot more. Now, neither Tim Burton nor Michael Keaton had any previous exposure to the Batman comic books. Executive producer Michael Usland provided them with reference material for the film. Burton was given every issue of Batman's first year in comics. Boy, I'd love to have that. Before Robin was introduced. Detective Comics number 27. Great number right there, I might add. From May 1939 through number 37 from March 1940. While Keaton was given the graphic novel, The, the Dark Knight Returns. Willem Dafoe. David Bowie, can you imagine that? John Lithgow, Tim Curry, and my buddy James Woods were considered for the role of the Joker. Batman creator Bob Kane was to make a cameo in the film, but became ill, and shooting of a scene was not rescheduled. That's too bad, too. Kane had drawn and signed the Batman sketch used by reporters to tease Knox and Kane was to be the cartoonist who presented it. Kane would later cameo in the movie's second sequel, Batman Forever, from 1995. Awesome stuff. In the original script, Bruce Wayne was described as a man with muscles on top of muscles and scarred from nightly combat. For its video, first video release, the film was graded slightly lighter as similar cinema audiences had complained that it was filmed so darkly that they could hardly see what was going on. It was kind of dark, I won't argue that. On the Joker's desk in his lair is a rare Rubik's diamond puzzle in an unsolved state being used as paperweight. Interesting. Hey, speaking of interesting, how about this? Yeah, Kiefer Sutherland was offered the role of Dick Grayson. He turned it down before the character was ugh, subsequently written out of the script. Lieutenant Eckhart's surname was not new to the Batman universe. In the original Detective Comics series, 
the name of Harvey Dent, Two-Face's failed plastic surgeon was Dr. Eckhart. Coincidentally, the actor who plays Harvey Dent and Two-Face in The Dark Knight is named Aaron Eckhart. Well, that's pretty wild. Sadly, that's also our last picture of the day on Baron Song of the Day. So we'll talk some more um, movie facts for you as we finish off the soundtrack. We got a few more songs to go. We got a little bit of beer left. And then I'm going to eat an exquisite, wicked, awesome dinner because I am excited. <clears throat> Final Confrontation, you remember that. Oh, that's an ad. My bad. There we go. Final Confrontation. So, the handwriting on the note that accompanies the gas mask in the museum is that of director Tim Burton. How about that? Tim Burton hired Danny Elfman to compose the music score. Initially, John Peters was skeptical of hiring Elfman, but was later convinced when he heard the opening number. You heard it earlier. Now you know why it worked. Michael Jackson was asked to write and perform the songs for the movie, but he had to turn it down due to his concert commitments. Bummer. The name of the Joker's alter ego, Jack Napier, was created by the filmmakers. In the comics, the Joker was never given a real name, and his anonymous status is often crucial to the plot, and whatever real name he has is yet to be determined, or defi definitively revealed, rather. The name Jack Napier is intended to be a play on the word Jack Na Jack and Apes, which is a medieval English term for a foolish fellow who resembles an ape, as well as a reference to Al actor Alan Napier, who played Alfred in the TV show Batman. I got a hunch it also references Jack Nicholson. Jack Napier, down with that. Vicky Vale. Kim Basinger screams approximately 23 times when in danger, or just when she thinks she's in danger, and she also gasps six times. Upon release, this movie became the both, both the highest grossing Batman movie and the highest grossing film adaptation of any DC Comics character. Both records were eventually surpassed only by The Dark Knight in 2008, which apparently was a phenomenal movie. We'll feature that on a future episode of Baron Song today, okay? Justin Dimmitt, I might need your help on that one. Jack Nicholson convinced the filmmakers to cast his close friend, Tracy Walter, as Bob the Goon. The Batmobile was 20 feet long, had an eight foot wide wheelbase, and weighed one and a half tons. Tim Burton wanted to cast Brad Dourif as the Joker, but he was overruled by Warner Brothers, and I think I'm okay with that. I would take Jack Nicholson over Brad Dourif any day. The lines, what a dick, muttered after the newspaper artist showed Knox his rendering of Batman, and he must have been king of the Wicker people, were ad-libbed by Robert Wool. Good deal. Mel Gibson was the first choice for the role of Bruce Wayne in Batman, but he had to turn it down because he was already commanded to leave the weapon too. Which that came out the same year. Thank God. I have this. Man, that Leave the Weapon series is freaking awesome. Um, Alec Baldwin, Jeff Bridges, Emilio Estevez, Matthew Broderick, Kevin Costner, Tom Cruise, Michael J. Fox, Harrison Ford, Robert Downey Jr., Kevin Spacey. Wow. Um, Patrick Swayze, Dennis Quaid, Kurt Russell, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mel Gibson, Charlie Sheen, Bill Murray, Pierce Brosnan, Tom Selleck, Daniel Day-Lewis, Tom Hanks, Kevin Klein, and Bruce Willis were all considered for the role of Bruce Wayne in Batman. We know Arnold eventually went on to play Mr. Freeze in Batman and Robin from 1997. Folks, Michael Keaton, if you're watching the show, you should be mighty proud. You beat all those actors out for the role of Bruce Wayne in Batman. That's incredible. You want to talk about beating out some roles? Listen to this, folks. My biggest hurdle right now is making the jump from Don't listen small to that. to getting a little bit yeah, larger. shut up. The finale. Check this out. Rosanna Arquette, Jamie Lee Curtis, Ellen Bakken, Robin Duke, Kate Capshaw, Glenn Close, Joan Cusack, Madonna. Not my friend Madonna Butterfield, but the 
Singer Madonna, Sacconi, Gina Davis, Judy Davis, Denny Dillon, Christine Ebersole, Mia Farrow, Carrie Fisher, Bridget Fauna, Jody Foster, Terry Gar, Melanie Griffith, Linda Hamilton, Daryl Hannah, Goldie Hawn, Mario Hemingway, Barbara Hershey, Holly Hunter, Angelica Houston, Amy Irving, Diane Keaton, Diane Lane, <whistles> Kay Lenz, Jessica Lang, Lori Laughlin, Julia Lewis Dreyfus, oh God, Virginia Madison, Madison rather, Kelly McGillis, Bette Midler, wow, really? Catherine O'Hara, Tatum O'Neill, Sarah Jessica Parker, <laughs> gross. Michelle Pfeiffer, Molly Wayne Ringwald, Meg Ryan. Yeah, my brother worked on her plumbing. No shit, I'm, I'm not bullshitting about that. Susan Sarandon, Jane Seymour, Sybil Shepard, Brooke Shields, C Sissy Spacek, Mary Steenberg, Sharon Stone. Yeah. Meryl Streep, Leah Thompson, Back to the Future, baby. Kathleen Turner, Stella Ward, Sigourney Weaver, and Deborah Winger. We're all considered for the role of Vicki Vale after Sean Young, the original choice, departed after a broken collarbone. Kim Basinger, you beat them all out, girl. Much respect. I'll drink to that. The final song from the soundtrack. Here we go. So an hour-long show it's going to be. Lieutenant Eckhart was clearly based on the comics character Lieutenant Harvey Bullock. Now, this is interesting. The hooker in the opening scene was originally meant to be 14 years old. My daughter's 13. Tim Burton, dude. Oh, what the hell were you thinking? Thank God it didn't happen. Because, see, she was also going to be shown chatting casually with a couple of cops, showing us how corrupt the Gotham City police are even before we met Eckhart. All right, I understand the intent there, but anybody thinking of de depicting a 14-year-old as a hooker? I don't know. I know, folks. It happens. It's a harsh reality. Folks, all I can say to you, please take care of your children. Bring them up right, for God's sakes. My daughter is 13, and I am so proud of her. I really am. Tim Burton disliked the songs that were done by Prince. Yeah, it was actually John Peters' idea. Kelly LeBrock was considered for the role of Vicki Vale. Ooh, can you imagine that? Wow, so that's it for the soundtrack. Um... One more cool fact, Tim Burton had a directed cameo. He was one of the Joker's goons in the movie scene. Oh, I'm sorry, in the mu museum scene. Let's slam it home, baby. Folks, I guzzled that whole beer in under an hour. And I am not messed up as a football bat. Minor buzz. I guess I've built up my tolerance as I get older, saltier, and crustier. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Folks, it's time to make the fetus and head out. So everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do a thing I wouldn't do. Don't you can drive. You might spill your drink. Or you might kill yourself. Or somebody else. And drinking and driving is definitely dumber than being a Yankees fan. But what's dumber than that is being a fan of Justine. Eh, I wish I had a penis because I'm a little bitch. Beaver. What a twat waffle. But what's dumber than that, though, is men slapping women. Or animal abuse. Or racism. Or people who watch on pets. Or fake friends. Or anybody that supports the fans who is a member of the West World Baptist Church or ISIS. Things like that are just plain stupid and definitely deserve a big fat GFY. Folks, I'm out of here. I am not recording the show tomorrow. I got a lawn to mow. <laughs> not the only lawn I got to mow, but catch my drift. But folks, I'll see you all on Blues Monday. Talk to you later.
Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.